everyone. This is Laura from Watch Laura Sew. So. so today what we're going to do is we are going to make a drawing. And many times that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going through and I'm free motion quilting a particular design. And the design is very similar sometimes to a line design for embroidery. Many times we don't have many different machines like an embroidery machine or you know that type of thing and we may be just operating off of what we have which is maybe just a regular sewing machine. I learned a long time ago that I could still do uh, kind of drawing line drawings that I could put on my quilts table table runners and also purses or bags to honor that idea today's drawing is a sewing machine so let's get started the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go across to the right with our stitch and we're going to make a straight line now if that's difficult for you either face it this way so that you can pull down or you could do it the other way where you're going up for me, I feel kind of I feel comfortable going in any direction. But if you don't, go ahead and pull down uh, to have a straight line. But we're going to go straight across the bottom. We're going to go straight like this. And as I went straight, my table came <laughs> loose a little bit, and I apologize for that. That does happen sometimes. This particular table does not lock in. It would be a nice feature if they would do that someday. Basically, what I'm doing is, is really a simple uh, line drawing of a simple sewing machine. We're going to go over about two stitches, and now we're going to go up. And I go up about, about a third of an inch, maybe almost a half an inch. And then I'm going to come over and uh, make a little lever. Now my machine has a little lever on it, but yours may not. And if it doesn't, you don't need to put this in here. We're going to go up another about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to come over. And I'm going to make a circle. Now I'm going to go around my circle a second time. I'm going to put indentations to kind of uh, indicate that it's a knob. Now you may not want to do that, and that's fine. So that's not a problem. It will, it will, it doesn't hurt the design. And so the other thing is, you may not have a knob there, so you could put. Uh, just a square or a rectangle for whatever you have on the right hand side of your sewing machine like in the Juki F300 that I'm showing here the Juki F300 has a rectangular panel so I would have put a rectangular panel or a rectangular shape in that uh, space right there rather than the circle but I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put some notches here and I could have done this as I was going around with my circle, but knowing me, I probably get it wrong. So I just kind of wanted to do it this way. So we're going to go over to the right, a couple stitches, get back to the straight line here. And now we're going to go up. And we're going to come back down a couple stitches and then we're going to go to our right just a little bit and we're going to uh, put a wheel or the hand wheel uh, right there. And now we're going to go up to the top. Now, on many sewing machines, it's kind of a curved, uh, it's not like straight and you know a 90 degree turn here it is usually a little bit of a curve we're going to go ahead and curve and we're going to right away make a little notch up and it's just a small notch to indicate the uh the knob where your bobbin will sit when you're winding your bobbin so we'll go up there 
to make a little notch. Now we're going to go across just a couple not a couple stitches and we're going to go straight up. Now on mine, I have a tall thread a stand attached to my machine, but yours may not and you may just have a thread peg. And so for that, you would just come up, you know, a, a, a little bit above the sewing machine, but you wouldn't have it as high as I have this. And I'm going to make just a little teeny tiny loop and I am going to come back down and now I'm going to go over a couple stitches and I'm going to make another small notch the other side of the bobbin winding and it, that depends on each machine and so you can adjust it the way you need it uh, and I'm going to go straight up and some machines have two or three of the thread stand thread pegs or thread stand and mine has two on this particular machine that I'm doing right now all right so we're going to come over a little bit further and sometimes we have another part of the bobbin winding kind of depends on your machine so now we're going to continue across going toward our left and we're going to go up well we might go a little further it depends on how big your throat is on your machine how much you want to show i'm going to make a little loop there and now i'm going to come straight down and i actually come down just where i try to make it i actually came a little bit further than i should have i wanted to hit about the top of this as my guide kind of going over i actually came down a stitch further than i wanted but that's all right because it'll still look all right so we're going to go back up and we are going to go around the side and we're going to come down and now we're going to get ready to go into the needle area with the foot so the first thing i do is i put my needle in there just like that and I bring it around and then I bring down you know my foot and in this case I'm using a quilting foot so I'm going to just kind of make a little loop around there and I'm going to come back up now for the rest of it I'm going to bring it up and and go through as if I'm going through the throat area of my sewing machine so we're going to go up and we're going to mimic this throat space and your throat space may be different so i'm going to come back up here and i'm going to go around and i'm going to come down just like that and now i'm going to go to the right i'm going to double over these stitches right here and I'm going to come down a couple stitches and I'm going to finish out my table. And I'm just going to go to the left and try and make a straight line. And then I'm going to stop and I'm going to go up and complete my table. And then my drawing is done. And this is what my sewing machine looks like. <laughs> So it's a lot of fun. And your sewing machine may be different than my sewing machine. And in fact, people, you know, one could say that I didn't include this part on the sewing machine, the tension part, and I didn't. But I think you would get the general idea. If you saw this on a quilt or a table runner or a bag, you get the idea of a sewing machine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you so much for your time. I will see you next time at the sewing machine. Bye-bye.